Yes, hair gods, I have seen. Jana has answered my hair prayers. Yes, I will be reacting to Jenna Marbles today. I am grateful she blessed me with another hair video. Hello, beautiful. Jenna Marbles is back. Jenna's Ratchet Hair Salon is back in order and she has reopened it and I am just... <laughs> Elated. This is one of the best things that's happened to me in the past year. Nothing else really matters. This is really it. So Jenna decided to make a wig, which is never an easy feat. Even the most brilliant hairstylists don't know how to make wigs because it's a very difficult task. Myself, I've only made a few in my life, but I do, however, know quite a bit about wigs. Also, before I watch the video, I have some exciting news. Nothing excites me more than this news. I finally have new hair products coming out with Ex Mondo, my brand, on September 13th, which is a little bit less than two weeks from now. And I can't wait to show you guys what I've been working on. It's been a long time coming, but there are a lot of new things coming this year um, and next year and all the years till I die. I don't know. It's something you guys are all gonna be able to use and all are gonna really enjoy. And I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait to show you it is. So if you guys would like to stay in the loop on what the new X Mondo product is and stay up to date of when the launch happens, follow X Mondo and look out for the day of September 13th. Head to xmondohair.com on that date and you will see what new products we have in store for you guys. Oh, I can't believe I can finally just say something about it. I've been dying to say that. Okay, anyways, why don't we watch the video? Let's get it started. This is from a, a creator named Jenna Marbles. I've never heard of her. The last time that I got my hair professionally cut or colored was I think December of 2017. Many of you what? remember the days when I would bleach my hair, put all kinds of colors in it. It was a really good time. And then I Yeah. I remember. And I haven't touched my hair in years. Yo, her hair is so long and so luscious. It looks so pretty. I feel like it would, ooh, I feel like it's so smooth. I feel like I just want to touch it and it'd be like, ooh, like, so soft. Here's a bunch of videos of how to make your own wig. Yeah, I'm sure I could buy a fun wig and put it on I my head. I love those videos. feel really great about myself. But you know what? Why not make your own Ooh. wig? Now, a lot of these videos are people sewing in wigs, which seems like the next step for me. But thanks to the power of YouTube, I've learned that you can hot glue yourself. Yes! So that's what we gonna do. That's a great way to start your wig making life is by using a glue gun first because it's so much easier than sewing. Sewing just takes so long. It's like, who has the time? Who has the energy? I know I don't. Gluing is the second best thing to sewing. Um, I did get human hair because most importantly of anything, I want this wig to be a fun, exciting color. And they did not have a lace closure at my disposal to purchase. So good thing I looked up on YouTube how to make a wig without a lace frontal closure. Jenna, where is the closure? How are you gonna make a wig without a closure, Jenna? Like, I guess it's possible if you make bangs or something. I just, I feel like that's just not really gonna work. The closure is like the most, mm, most delicate, most beautiful part of the whole process. And that's like the most exciting part is when you get that closure on there and it just like pulls everything together. Kind of sad about that. Kind of disappointed. Kind of wish you got a closure. So we're just going basically hot glue it to a cap around in a circle and pretend like nothing's going on. <laughs> I don't think I can pull that off. Also, no. welcome, what's her name? Manny Quinn, Miss Manny Quinn. Don't name her Fleb. All right, welcome to the channel, Fleb. I want to say I've watched about three whole videos on this. Okay. I'm gonna make it work, because that's what we do here at the salon. Am I right, Julian? We make it work. She kinda does. Like, that time she did extensions, I mean, she made that work. I mean. One of these is shorter. I think I'm gonna be using this for the top Good idea. Layer. And if it gets really messy, we can just cut some bangs. The reason why you get shorter hair extensions is because hair naturally isn't all one length. You wanna have shorter variations of hair. You wanna have longer pieces. You work your way up. You can usually do up to like four different lengths of hair when you're making a wig. So you can start off with like 22 inch, go to 20, go to 18, go to 16 at the top. You wanna really layer cut. Or you can do it all one length. But I don't think that it really looks natural. It kinda looks ugly. Like it's not, it's just not my thing. You know, I don't know. If it's your thing, then I don't know, go for it. Like, just do it. I don't know, go for it. I don't judge you. If you have a fleb, cover their Wait, face. suffocating her. Suffocate fleb. No, no, she needs to breathe. Uh, I opened up my wig cap. I asked for help at the store and she gave me like an actual wig cap. 
Jenna. I don't know your scalp. I just don't think you have a black scalp, but I have been wrong before. I don't mind being wrong. I just don't think it's a natural looking scalp for you. Put me in handcuffs and lock me up. I don't know how to position <laughs> this. Cause see, see how loose and baggy this is? But it needs to be like stretched. How am I gonna attach anything to this? <laughs> So you're supposed to glue the um, the wefts onto the cap, and then you're supposed to cut the excess cap off. After you put the lace front closure on, you can cut all that excess off, um, and that's how it works. But yeah, you're supposed to pull it tight at first. I mean, it's gonna look really weird. Jam it on there. It started the nape. Nape. You know, like here-ish. Uh, I said that to my brother when he was coloring, when I was teaching him how to balayage hair through an earpiece in the, I don't know, last week's video. I was like, start at the nape. He's like, what the hell is a nape? I thought nape was like a, a common thing. Like, I don't, I don't know. How am I supposed to dye this? Ow! And I think maybe we like do that for a little bit and then we start cutting it. Can't have this shit be lifting, <laughs> you know? Or else it's gonna be a dead giveaway that I got a wig on. <laughs> I should probably chill out on using so much hair for the nape. I don't know what this wig cap is. I was thinking like, you're gonna need to cut it at the end. I don't think I've ever seen a wig cap look like this. Like I have no idea where she got this from. Well, probably Sally's. Still, I don't know what is going on. Looks fine, right? Yeah, you're doing great. That looks, looks good. good. Harder than I thought it would be, but also easier. So boring. Pretty effective. I see all these videos on YouTube and I'm like, I could do that. I could do that. Maybe sits here struggling. I don't Fleb, you look beautiful. Fleb, you look beautiful. <laughs> Why are you so concerned with Fleb? What the hell is a Fleb? A Rubik's Cube puzzle channel. All right. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Guests in our house. We're supposed to dye their hair first. No. 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 You can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You were definitely supposed to dye it first, Jenna. Yeah, I didn't know you were dyeing it. I didn't know you were gonna go there. I don't know how the dyeing application is gonna go. However, I would highly recommend doing dip dye because that is fun and that is a very easy way of coloring hair extensions. However, you don't usually wanna do the color after the extensions because you don't wanna color the lace, but you actually don't have any lace going on right now. It might be fine, but I wouldn't recommend it next time. I think you should color the hair first. But what do I know? So, Julian, do you want to tell them what color we're going to dye this? Orange. Yes! Yeah! I love orange. Well, only if it's like bright orange. Like, I want to like, woo, like highlighter orange. I don't know. I think highlighter orange would be pretty. Say you make the hairline right here. You can fold this part under when you wear it. This is like a lot harder than you can I thought it would be. Like Julian. trying to figure out where the hair goes. My brain's not really working that well right now. I can't really figure this out. Your brain looks cute today. <laughs> said the x-ray technician. Why are, you, why are you gluing the hair to the eyeball? Jenna, why is it in the eye? I don't think you grow long hair, 20-inch 20, 20 hair out of your eyeballs. I think it's supposed to start back here. But again, what do I know? I don't know anything. I'm really interested to see what she's gonna do with this closure without having one. We already used a whole pack of hair. Hair doesn't grow on trees. It, it, like, actually, it does. Doesn't. It doesn't. It grows on people. <laughs> It like doesn't look right. You think? So most of the, the videos that I've seen on YouTube, they make it in like a U shape, but I'm just having a hard time because something's wrong with Fleb's head. Whoa, whoa, I don't think this is the size of my head. This all makes sense now. It's like a miniature mannequin head and she is trying to make a wake on a miniature mannequin head. It's holding way better than I thought it would. I mean, I trusted the people on YouTube, but like they were right. Ow, ow. Oh, I put my finger right uh in it. I put my thumb in it again. Yo, that's a lot of tracks. Measuring was a little off on that one. Judging me, all of you. Honestly, never made a wig without a, a uh, closure on it, but I'm pretty sure she should start at this point doing a spiral with the hair. Jenna, no more cutting at this point. And we're gonna start going all the way around in a circle and a circle and circle until you get a little tiny little circle and you end it right there and you cut it. And that's how you do it without having a closure. And then you cut some bangs and then call it a day. But like, what's all this? Like, what do I do with this? You cut it. What if it doesn't fit my head right? Then you're just gonna have a black bar underneath your hair. <laughs> Isn't that a dead giveaway that I'm wearing a wig? No, it'll just be like cinematic. You know, cinematic? Like, uh, you know black bars on cinematic? 
they start to glue it like this. Exactly. Yeah, but like that, like they don't have to be bangs, like you could still part them. Or you just keep making this smaller so that it turns into nothing, pretty much. What should I do? You do the that? tracks in a circle, well, Jenna. I'm running out of hair. Should I just keep going around in a circle? Yeah, we should do that. Okay, I'm stressed. Stop cutting it! I'm running out of hair and I've never seen anyone do it like this. Ew, it kind of looks gross. I don't like it. Look at this! Oh no. How much hair do you have left? This much? I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I had a plan, but... Okay, am I just gonna have like this a black... It. Heart. No. See how it's all folded? Like, this no. is garbo. Jenna, no. No, it's too late for that. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Don't Will Smith in my wig. Oh, it's really bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. Oh my god, everyone make this seem so easy online. Oh, it's so bad. Jenna, I'm not gonna lie, it's really not that hard. Lock me up and throw me in jail. Oh no. No. Oh, no. Right, don't, don't leave worry, it like I that. Pizza. Don't. It's gonna save it. Don't leave. <laughs> No, what is that? No, don't leave it. She gonna leave it like that. Oh my god! What did I do? <sighs> I still don't even know how the front of it's gonna work. When you turn in your test to the teacher, when your teacher asks you to show work. <laughs> Alright, you know how you can help me? Fill this up with hot water so it at least can be a cool color. Yeah. This is the technique I again saw on YouTube. Yay! I'm just gonna dump some hair She's dye. She's doing the dip water. dye. Oh god. My favorite. It's so much fun. What? I hope she enjoys it. Use a different orange. We can get some dimension. Kermit, get out. Yeah, that's dimension. Alright, that's vomit. It's bright What's orange too, my favorite. Julia dimension. Here she goes. Watch this. Magic. Ready? Magic. I don't want it out of my life already. Don't Is it miss orange yet? The action. Is it orange yet? It's like oh, it actually came up orange. Pretty. Yeah, I like the color. Yes. Cool. You're gonna need your muscle. <laughs> this is why she's muscle. Yo, that's a lot of hair. I can't wait to see it on her head. Well, that took almost my entire life to dry this. I, I won't quite gonna... pay to just throw it in the dryer. Uh, wait, that's such a good idea. Jenna's brain is so powerful. I feel like you could totally put a wig in a dryer and dry it. I don't see why not. Is that stupid? Am I missing something? Am I not calculating something right now? Would the hair get caught in the dryer? Your mind is so powerful. Like flat iron it because I figured not even oh, a hot tool too much, really gonna save too much work. I put it in the too much work drying that hair. Extensions take five and a half hours to dry. <laughs> oh, I have... It looks good. Oh, ah, no. I tried to tuck it in some. No. Come into the bathroom. Whoa, I it looks it somewhere else. so bad. I will right, we'll say the color is dope. Right, the color came out so good. But aside from the front, a little bit of cap showing, like it looks good. Julian, just stop. <laughs> It looks really bad. <laughs> Look, it's gotten so serious. I need to speak to you in camera B. Camera A wasn't enough. I gotta go to camera B now. What happened? What happened? You know I'm serious when I talk in camera B. Put a headband on. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good idea. I like you style. What about just a hat? Is this your hat? Does it look natural? <laughs> Stop oh. laughing! No, it looks good. You Look. made it. You made it. You have to be easy on yourself. You made this from nothing. With a hat, it's not that bad. Oh, it's so bad. It's always such a dead giveaway that somebody's wearing a wig when they're wearing a hat over it. It's like my number one rule, don't ever wear a hat with a wig. Don't. It's just a dead giveaway you didn't have enough time that day to nail down your wig properly onto your head. And don't ever put nails in your head. I meant that figuratively. Oh, shit. I probably could have bought like a $20 Party City wig and gotten the same effect, you know? This is definitely more expensive and 
labor intensive. <laughs> like, if you're gonna wear a wig with a hat, you know, you can buy a really cheap shit wig because you're just gonna throw a hat on it, but... I think the point of making your own wig is to be able to wear it as a wig. No, the point of making your own wig is that you made your own wig. Like, you did it. Now offering in my salon wigs with hats. <laughs> What? I'm gonna sew the hat no. into the top of it so it's part of the wig. What? That's a good idea. Does it look natural? Yeah, it looks so natural. I don't want this to like ruin Jenna's outlook on doing hair. Like I just don't want this to be the thing that makes her think that she isn't capable. Because I think if we give her one more try in this, it would come out stunning. It's actually like super dope. I know you're being hard on yourself, but you made a wig and it came out like if you brushed it oh, a little bit, Julian. like you styled it, like it's, it looks good. It looks like hair. I'm not gonna brush it or style it. No, but I'm saying it has potential. I'm upset with it. Do you wanna try it on? Sure. <laughs> it looks like a meme wig that you get at like a football game. Who's the orange? Go team. Who's the orange? Who's the orange team? I don't know, but they're gonna win. It looks kinda <laughs> good on you. All right, take the hat off. Yeah. It kind of looks like a built-in headband. And I found out not everything is for me to try. This is an abomination, Julian. Someone grew their hair out and then cut it. Shouts out to that person. Link their YouTube channel. <laughs> just the worst thing I think I've ever made. Can I burn it in the fire pit? No, you can't burn it. I'm just happy you tried it. And I'm really proud of you. And I think you did an amazing job. I'm not good at lying, though. It didn't look good. Not to be rude, but probably the worst wig I've ever seen in my life. <gasps> But I'm glad you tried. I'm very proud of you. And now, next time, you know a little bit more about how to make a proper wig. And next time, you're gonna nail it. I think there should be a next time. That, my friends, my beautiful, is all for today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at bradmondo, N-Y-C. <laughs> um, my brand, X Mondo Hair, and we do, like I said before, have new products coming out September 13th. And don't forget to follow my other channel, Brad and Eric, for reality style content about the behind the scenes in my life and with Eric on it also. It's so much fun. Check it out. It'll be linked below. It'll be linked on the end screen. It'll be linked everywhere. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time.